but uh, that won't affect the players. It'll keep them cool in the afternoon. And the pitch is perfect. The outfield is very, very fast. Tony Gregg and his pitchers, the West Indians, have gone in with Malcolm Marshall. He comes back into the side. And Courtney Walsh is the one out. He has a heel injury. And uh, that is a very strong West Indian side. Good bowling attack and great depth in batting. Pakistan have included Abdul Carter, second from the bottom there, the great leg spinner. He's not fully fit after a back injury, but he's included in the side. Imran Khan said before the start of play that he thought they had to gamble with him. If nothing else, have gone four points to two, and they are slightly ahead of Pakistan on the run rate as well. We join play now with just one run on the board. Curtly Ambrose is coming into Boulder Rummies. Roger, your commentators, Tony Kosia and Bill Laurie. That's gone straight to Richard, the first slip. And Pakistan have lost their first wicket. And that's not a surprise. Moin never, ever looked comfortable. Caught Richard's bold marshal. And perhaps that's not a bad thing. Pakistan in a lot of trouble to gather in the early overs. So one for nine after seven overs. Ramiz and Amir together. Here's Ambrose. He got that one right off the middle of the bat. Flicked it away over the man at Backward Square. Wicket down. Two down in all now. Two for 20. Ambrose strikes. Batsman out as run his right at five. There are 13 extras in this total of 20. And two wickets down. Plenty of action, but most of it's in the sundry calling. Good delivery, this one. Bit of bounce there. Thick edge through to Dujon. No trouble, whatever. And that is the end of Ramiz. It's been a painful, very slow innings. He hasn't helped Pakistan cause much. Two for 20. Happy. That's edged and dropped by Viv Richards. But Armour is uh, having a bit of luck. Fine deliver here from Bishop, a little bit quicker. And there's a just caught Viv, which is a bit unusual, unawares, and it's got on a little bit quicker than I think it. That's a good shot, too. Amir Malik latching onto that one and smashing it back at a point for four. Good fire, this guy. Continue to Amir and Javid. It's got away very, very quickly off the bat and into the fence it goes again. Bishop's not so high placement. And another wide, and this could be four. Off the fingertips there, four wide signaled by umpire Simmons. This is helping Pakistan. His fielding's quite sound. Certainly can throw a ball. Run rate 2.82 climbing ever so slowly. Richard has a shy, and I think that would have been close. Whoa, he did swing on that one as he picked it up and whipped it down the other end. Javid was, I think, uh, aware of what he was up to. Slowly. Picked up a bit. And it's down the ground. Just wide of Ambrose. He might just have got the left hand to it. He has a long way to go down, of course. And Javid deliberately hit inside out to get it away from him. Ambrose getting around and might just have got the left hand to it. Well, he's got that one now well clear of the fielder. So Javid Nyandad starts to pick things up. He is a magnificent batsman. Roger Harper. Continuing with his off-spinners. In very good touch. He really hit that beautifully. It wasn't that short. Came off. Swiveled on his back foot. And whacked it away over square leg. Great shot. And that's not a bad one either. Perhaps he didn't intend it to go exactly there, but that was the general idea. And it goes down towards the boundary. Javid 
very strong onside player, great determination, very competitive man. In the air, and it's Benjamin under it. So Benjamin takes the catch. It was up there for a long time. And Javid Niandad goes to the first ball after the break. Ian Bishop getting the wicket. It was a well-taken catch by Winston Benjamin. Top edge as Javid pulled away and attempted to play the pull shot. Winston Benjamin came off the fine leg boundary and the ball travelling into the breeze just dropped on him a little and he took it well in the end. Javid out, Pakistan 3 for 127. New batsman is Saleh Malik. in the air, a man gently under it and very safely taken. Carl Hooper out in the upfield, another setback for Pakistan. The batsmen are explaining to one another exactly what they were trying to do. I don't know that uh, Salim Malik's explanation is being readily accepted by the younger member. No, he hasn't quite timed it here off the bottom part of the bat, but uh, it wasn't really on because the deep end on was out there anyway. And Quite a simple catch there to Carl Hooper. And it's uh, Shalim Malik out for three. Uh, here's Bishop, bowling to him. Here's Bishop, bowling to him, run. Four and nearly six. But the air could be out. Richards will catch this. That's the end for Armour Malik. Fine innings. He's out caught Richards. Bolt and Braves for 75. Not a bad effort. So Amir Malik and his runner. A little bit of a hand here from the crowd at the gather. This is how it happened. He went for the pull shot, hit the top edge of the bat, went straight up in the air. And Richard's moving backwards a little bit and sideways mid-wicket. Makes no mistake. Another wicket to Ambrose. Now look out to 475. It's now 5 for 194. Imran quickly to 36. That could be 6. That's a big hit coming straight down the ground. That's a ripper into the members. Winston Benjamin struck straight down the ground. The perfect hit. 5 for 220. Certainly Ambrose. In the air, Medoff's getting under it. And that's out. He has caught it Medoff of Kirtley Ambrose for three. Bishop Midoff taking a straightforward catch. Yes, uh, once again, that one hitting the bat high up on the splice, spooned up in the air. Bishop having to go back a little bit, takes the catch. Notice how he tries to heave it away. Falls onto him just a little quicker than he expected. And Bishop doing pretty well there, getting back quite a long way. So Bishop out, and Pakistan 6 for 220. 46, act from 1. Well, there's the gap. The field's been moving in mid on. What he's got to do is hit it straight down the ground. Just that over cover. What a shot. Beautifully played. Four runs. And he's quietly uh, destroying Benjamin's figures. He was very tidy. 36. Six scores in one six. And control hitting the full face of the bat. Benjamin. It's up in the air. The man's out there. Richie Richardson's a big high hit. He's coming around. He's under it. No balls at all. It's over his shoulder. So Inman survives. At the yes, quite right too. No ball called. That ball over the height of the. That's the wide. That's far wide. The wheels falling off for the West Indies in the final overs. A little bit of panic. Richard's rushing in now from mid-wicket to come across to his young bowler. 
Wonderful recovery by Pakistan. Down the ground he goes. Just the single. Haynes in. Wasn't was coming back. He stumbled. He's got to be out. Stumped. He's gone. Beautiful bit of fielding by Desmond Haynes. Hits the stumps on the ball. Good attacking running, but the throw is just too good. Yeah, so that's not the first time he hit the stumps today. Akram just a little slow there, but what a good ball was picked up. Bang hits the off stump there. And uh, that was the end of Akram. It's a big hit. That's going down the ground. That's six more. What an over for Pakistan. He's got a hold of it. It's going out to mid-wicket. The sweeper's Harper. He's putting in a big one. And no ball called. And it's four runs. Wow, what a finish this is for Pakistan. One more ball remaining. No ball called. Richards can't believe it. No ball and pashed away for four. He gets back to it. Uh, with the two. Imran not coming. And that's the end of a fine performance by Imran Khan and his team. Well, welcome back. And you wouldn't believe that if you hadn't actually seen it with your own eyes, that Pakistan could make that many runs after being in such trouble early in the innings. Just have a look at this card now that shows them 7 for 258. Once again, the architect of that revival was Javed Meandad. He only made 38 today, but he was the one who steadied things after those two early wickets had fallen and after the run rate had almost completely dried up. Nice innings from Amir Malik again. He's a good young player, 75 for 119 balls. Imran, astonishing hitting. Beautiful striker with the ball and a great captain's knock there. His side needed him and he was there, 67 from 41 balls, 7 for 258 from a full 50 overs and the bowling figures for West Indies. This is where the problem was. Marshall 1 for 34, Ambrose 3 for 39. Those uh, are the fair statistics, two wickets for Bishop, but have a look at those notes there just below the bowling figures themselves. 37 wide, so actually 28 wide balls, but three of them went for four. So it totals up to 37. There were four no balls as well, and then leg buys, which you always get in these limited overs fixtures. But um, absolutely abysmal. No wonder uh, Viv Richards had his head in his hands out there. So West Indies need 259 to win, even on a small ground. It's not going to be very easy. This is a good Pakistan bowling attack. Shot. Well hit by Haynes. Advanced on the inswinger and picked it up. Year old. That's a fantastic shot by Haynes. It was very wide. If he had left it, I'm sure the umpire would have had to have signaled. But he still and clobber it through the covers. Desmond Haynes in glorious form. He has played some spanking shots already, and this is a very ominous sign for Pakistan. And that one was a bit of an inducker. Might just have got the inside edge as well. We need to see the replay for that. He's having a good tour, the show fellow. He's chipping him with wickets and breaking the opening partnership. He's up, and he's gone for it. And Desmond Haynes, which is his style when he's going, and was it an inducker? Yes, it was. And it was full length. Took the off stump. And that's a vital breakthrough. If David Bowling Haynes. He's out for 26. It's 1 for 34. New batsman is Richardson. And that's a good shot. The Yui can't bowl short to the West Indians. Cracking shot. That is just about Gordon Greenwich's favourite shot. He's a beautiful driver of the ball, the good hooker. And he's a square cutter. He's unusual. He bowls around the wicket to the right-handed batsman. That's a great start. Richardson not allowing the left arm to get 
away with a bad delivery. Beautifully played. We're still inside that uh, 15 over, so Fielders must be inside the circle. Out. Caught. Rosie Mastron comes on, breaks the partnership. It was powerfully hit. But it's the second wicket down for the West Indies. Yes, he was after him. He crashed the first one through the cover as if to say this man is a danger man. Well, this time he was hitting on the up. Struck it straight to Akib Javid at mid-off. And the second wicket has fallen available. Wicket that of Richie Richardson. Jeffrey Dujon comes to the crease. Armour Malik. Just struggling with a bit of a, a leg strain. In the end, he's got in, cotton bowled. And he limps away towards mid-wicket. But boy, that's a very vital wicket. Dujon has been playing very well just recently. And it seemed that he was wrong-footed there for pace a bit and just chipped the ball straight back to the bowler. Yes, it was the pace that beat him. Little bit of in-swing, but mostly the pace that got him. And uh, that leg will improve enormously after picking up that wicket. As Dujon is gone for a duck, the West Indies are three for 64. Vehement appeal. Charlie Musev. Vivian Richards. Just a gentle smile. just inside the boundary. Arkid has been very short. He's been lucky to have got away with a couple of short deliveries early. Well, that was a very strange one. There is a ball outside the off stump. Not that one, the one before which was touched and uh, the keeper caught it umpire signal wide they were about to appeal but didn't do so he's bowled in that's a good delivery and that's the break that pakistan wanted the young man is really having a tremendous season here in australia and to pick up gordon greenwich at that stage a decisive breakthrough all off the pads, it was getting miss leg stump by a good six inches. Just flicked the pad and then came back and removed the bales. So having said what an important partnership this is, it's broken now, it's four for 131. Abdul Qadar to Vivian Richards with the wrong one. There's a chance to run out the throws back in this guy at the set, he's out, yes, sent back by Carl Hooper. Trying to get away from the leg spinner, the throw hits the stumps and Richards run out for 18. Show it, the substitute fieldsman hit the stumps on the first bounce and the great fire is run out. Yes, I think that's a fair bit of misjudgment here by Vivi. Straight to mid-wicket virtually. Good throw, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, it would have been run out. But uh, just to handle up a good piece of fielding and a uh, bad bit of calling, I think, by Viv himself. A special pride by Abdul Qadar, five for 131. Carl Hooper and Roger Harper, can they save the West Indies? That's a good shot, that's four run. Hitting with the spin, finding the gap. Beats the off stump. There was a half chance there. It didn't quite go to hand. They're coming back to the second. Excellent. They could be gone. That's very close. A wonderful piece of fielding by was an excellent in the deep. My word, that was tough. Yeah. So I'm trying to set well and it's clean bowling, as clean as a whistle. Well, I don't think Roger Hover can believe how he missed that. And I'm sure you're going to be doing one of the dumb things too. It's just come straight down the off stump and he's just played all around it. And clean bowl. What more can I say?
New batsman to the crease. Malcolm Marshall. That's gone. That's on the dog track. Way back. Cleared the dog track. Big six. That's the long boundary down there. And uh, a rank short delivery. And smashed away. I suppose a good example of the West Indies uh, never being beaten. That's just going to clear the fence. That's all it has to do. Six more. Yes, this will get Imran's attention. Indication of what the Pakistan skipper thinks of the situation. He realises they need a wicket. And he's come back into the attack himself. That's nicely hit. One bounce into the sight screen. West Indian six now. Imran's bowled eight. I don't know what that's hit, but it's gone very close to leg stump. Must have been an inside edge. I think the bowler thought that he clean bowled Malcolm Marshall there for a second. Yes, we'll see this one hit the inside edge of the bat and just missed the leg stump. That's uh, the one that Pakistan needed. Malcolm Marshall playing outside the off cutter. If he bowls it just a little bit quicker than uh, it actually looks. And remember, that was through the defences of Marshall in a flash. Quickest delivery, this one. And back it came a little bit through the gate. And down goes the off stump. Winston Benjamin, he's got a bit to uh, catch up on. Akram again. Right on line again, was he, Macram? This has been a tremendous effort from him. Looks as though the West Indies might be getting back into the game. But he's hit the stumps twice. Fine bowling performance. Yes, again, that ball, almost the identical one that got rid of Marshall. Just nipping back a little bit and down go the stumps again. Very accurate. Over on his way for 18, 84, 99. So he had another change. Jarvid is under it, and he's taken it very easily. So Winston Benjamin is gone, and Jarvid is delighted with that, as is, or as are a few of the other packies. Yes, he doesn't drop many, Jarvid. Certainly not straightforward outfield catches. So that one hits straight down the ground in the air, and Jarvid waiting patiently in the shadows down a deep long line makes no mistake and that is the end of Winston Benjamin and right on the line well I think Imran said if you're going to call everything else wide so I'd better get it on the middle stump that's the only chance I've got and a tremendous game from the Pakistan captain he has led from the front today and he's been rewarded with a 55 run victory when Greenwich and Richards were out quickly, that was pretty much the end for the West Indians. 203 in the Pakistan bowling was very effective. I thought Abdul Qadir did very well today. He came in bad back and all, seven overs for 28 at a crucial time. Imran, two wickets. Akib Javed, two for 49. And Wazi Makram, who is bowling beautifully at the moment, three for 27.